Um, so we need to crack this box open. And uh, it just kind of snaps open. I actually, you know, I don't know what this what this assembly technique is actually called. Interesting enough, because a lot of car stereos are this way, and I've broken quite a few of those puppies open in my day. But uh, I like to have a couple tools on standby. Um, use my little girly nails here first, and just kind of make a stab at it. And there she goes, just like that, there, boys. So there's the top. Wow, the bottom just came right off. So very lovely. Very lovely. I'll put those to the side pretty much in the order that those came apart in. And there's the unit. Right there. So I'm not really sure if I'm going to just take the board out of this housing or not. Um, I don't know. I'll take a look. I'll get my my bubbles glasses out and see but uh, I don't know that I really need to disturb those I'm just kind of thinking should I re should I re-grease those or not put some fresh baby poop in there or just leave well enough alone I don't know what say you what do you guys think crystals in there a little funky monkey but yeah that's it's pretty interesting. There's only what about eight or ten caps in there? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight in there, or I could just pretty much just walk them out without messing with this. Okay, this might be kind of hard to show here on camera, so I'm going to do the best that I can. But I got a 1 microfarad at 50 volt cap right there. And this is a double sided board, so I do kind of a combination of two things. I will use my solder sucker and get as much as I can up out of there first. Okay, get that lead. I'll heat that up and I'll get that lead. I'll try this one one more time. So we got solder here on this side and on the other side as well. So what I like to do now is now that I've got the bulk of that up, I'll take and I'll grab onto it. See if I can get the camera adjusted here. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna try to walk it out. And this is kind of hard. Usually I kind of hold this up against my belly in the bench, so I'm gonna see how this works. And I'll heat that up. I'll try to walk that out a little bit. I'll let it cool for a second. And then I'll grab that. And I'll try to walk that side out. And I'll walk this one back out. I'll get right up on top of that one. Come on, try to walk that one out. I guess you could use wick if you want, but I like to use, I'm just better with the solder sucker. This happens to work better for me. Get that. Of course, this one's gonna fight me because I'm trying to show you how I'm doing it. And I'm kind of not being able to get onto it the way I like. And then I'll just get to the point where I feel her wiggling. Then I can just pull it out carefully. Okay, we got it out. So I put this over here to the side. I've already double checked the markings on the PC. There's the area right there. I'm going to hold that up to some light and make sure I got all of it out of the hole. And I did. You can see the light right there. All right. So then what I do next is I take the new component and I try to do a trial fit. I straighten up my legs. I'm OCD about that. 
So remember, on the cap, right, the long leg is the positive. Now, we're going to go into that. And I usually use the long leg just to check and make sure I can get it in there. Sometimes you can't. So I can't on that side. Come on, Mike. And I can on that side. So we got to work on that side. So let's flip her back up, eh? And we'll see if we can just possibly coax a little more out of there. Sometimes I just grab onto it and I'll blow it out. But come on, cord. Because I'm trying to get this camera angle stuff down here. Let's see if I can get back down. Again, I apologize for the filming here. And I'll just kind of give that a heat. Get right in there. Just bam. Let me get right in there. Oh, I missed it. Scrud. Kind of missed it there too. But sometimes that just that knocking action will get it. Let's see if I can get in there now. Nope. Did I screw that hole up? I bent my leg a little bit. Let's see. Okay, that one will go through. That one will go through. You don't want to get too forceful with it because you don't want to knock the foil off the other side of the board. Okay, so let's go back and try it. Let's inspect. How are we looking? We're looking pretty good. So let's give her a go, eh? Let's put the positive side in there. Oh, this side's going to fight me a little. Why, you dirty bastard. All right, now. This is where my blowing technique usually works, but we're just going to see if we can just get in there. Just clean that up. And I made it worse. So let's try this. Get in there real quick. Blow her out, eh? Don't burn your lips, boys. That well, looks pretty good. Right? That gonna allow me to get down in there? There we go. Double check, make sure I got positive and negative correct. Okay. And I'll push it in, right? But I don't like to push these in all the way to the board. I like them to float just a little so you can actually get a visual inspection. So we're going to go back around. And let's see if that's a good angle here on the camera. Darn light. Sorry about this. Maybe we'll do a couple. Should have done this on the easy ones to show you. The big caps are the easy ones, right? Okay, I'm going to come in here with my pen. I got this. I like to solder up a little high. I've got my station set at like what am i here 695 right now so i'll come in here and i'll get this leg warm and then i'll come in just throw a little solder in there let it percolate for a second get out of there blow on it of course grab this one here i'll heat that leg up get in there with some solder let it percolate for a second it should be good And then I like to go in here and just make doubly double sure. And let's see if we can see that right there. Get my little picky pick in there. And as you can see right in there, I got solder right up there. Now is that a little much? Is that, oh, you know, a little too much? I don't know. It kind of depends on how you look at it. I've seen OEM solder joints worse than that or more globbed up than that. Let's see if I can get another one here. Here's one that I just did. Did one of these easy ones. And this GoPro isn't too good for that. But anyway, we got it. All right, so there's that one. Yeah, this GoPro doesn't do close-ups very well, so we're just kind of winging it here. So just for shits and giggles, let's do another hard one. This one looks to be kind of easy, but let's go in here for a hard one. 
another one. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna confirm where my negative is right here, right? And you can see on the board up there, where's my fingy? Well, I didn't cut my nails yet. Disgusting girly nails. Okay, here's our negative band right here. So yeah, on the opposite side should be positive, and it is, the board is marked correctly. So we're just gonna run over here. So we know this, we know the the cap is oriented this way. There's a leg here and here. So let's flip her over, eh? And take a look here. We got this, got this little one. So here's where our cap is, is right there. Let's see here if I can get it on camera. Here's where the cap is. It's gonna be right here, okay? So keep an eye on this here, all right, right here. Let's see if I can get a better dangle of the angle here. Okay, that's got just a shit ton glob of solder in there, boys. So let's see what we can do. Again, with that same technique. Ooh, I almost got my GoPro with the pin. I like to take this and get this first glob up here. There we go. Ooh, that got a good amount out. That got a good amount out. Let's see what we can do. Let's see if we can kind of walk it out or move it a little bit. Come on. Okay, I like to do this just to double make sure I've even got the right cap. I'll heat that up a little bit. There we go. Oh, look at that. Heat that up. Grab onto that. Walk that one out. Let it let it cure for a second. And I hope I'm getting this on camera. Walk that out. I think they're just both gonna move. Okay, this leg here, as you can see, I got this leg to move. So I'm gonna kind of leave that alone. And I'm gonna just see if I can get it. You know what, I'm gonna have to move the camera, guys. Let me clean my tip here real quick. Let's see if I can just pull that some bitch out. Get that leg warmed up a little. God damn, am I holding on to the cap? Oh, I got the cap and a resistor at the same time. My big fat fingers are not gonna let me work. Oh, look at that. She's just carefully, I'm just gonna carefully work it out maybe. No, there we go. Come on, very carefully. Okay, so I'm gonna pull it out. I'm gonna verify on this front side here was the negative, right? Cause we can see it right here. So I'm just gonna run over here just for giggles. I always double and triple check that. And there it is, okay. So we got that. Right, let's doubly make sure 4.7. 4.7 at 35. I'll set this over to the side. I don't put this in my pile yet. Got a 4.7 at 50. I'm cool with that. It's just the way this kit did it. Sometimes it's hard to get the right value. You can always go up in voltage. Actually, you can go up in voltage and capacitance, but I like to stay somewhat true to the capacitance. Okay, so 4.7. There's our negative. Okay, so I'm having pretty good luck with the old solder sucker on these big globs here so these were all cold solder joints right here right so i've just got my kind of my finer tip on and i'm just going to heat this and i'm just going to give her a couple sucks come on wow, that was a big glob huh and i'll just kind of rub it on there again it usually takes about two of these and i got her pretty good there i cleaned her up pretty good Big old snot boogers in there. All right, let's get another one. Yeah, I think that's going to be a better job. I just never had good luck with solder wick. I'm just so bad with solder wick. I guess it's whatever technique works for you, right? Not a little bit there, but come on. There we go. I'm just get, getting giant spit wads out of this. Globs of solder. Uh, 
and that's pretty good. Let's um, go over here. Really, none of those other um, capacitators fought me. Actually, the two hardest ones were actually the ones I did on camera. If go figure that one. Uh, let's clean that tip. All right. I'm just gonna get her warm. Get her in there, sock it up. Now you saw a little fragment fly, but that's okay. We're golden, we're good. We'll get them, we'll get them cleaned up. I'm kind of making a mess here. That's all good. Now these old solder suckers work really good. Okay. My dad gave so, me this. What we're gonna do is hopefully get a little bit of solder on here. And I like to use this. So what I do is I, I know it may be hard to see here, but I like to heat the metal up first and then apply the solder. That looks awesome, dude. So I'm gonna heat the metal up. I'm using uh, like a screwdriver tip, a really wide tip on this here pen. I fucking love this Weller soldering pen of mine, man. Dude, dude, these things are so sweet, so worth the money. If you guys do anything in life and you guys are tool freaks like I am, get you one of these damn Weller stations, man. This thing is badass. Um, I love it. I mean, it makes me look like I know. So I'm not really a technician. And as you can see by my bench, I don't have any gear. Make sure we're okay over here. We're not bleeding over. We're not. Bleep, 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 bleep. So all that's good. Anyway, I'm not a technician. I'm just kind of a hobbyist slash golden screwdriver. I know enough not to screw up too bad. And I'll tell you what I should know is I should get some damn lighting in here. Um, by the way, this video is inspired by 3Made. Um, I love watching 3Made's videos. I like actually watching a YouTuber actually do the work. Alright, so that looks pretty good, huh? Dude, those are like a hell of a lot better than factory. And I used about half the solder. Hell. Alright, so that looks good. Blew it out earlier. Thank <laughs> you.